Hello everyone, and it is Oracle 684, and this is a real treat. I've been picking up some Wonder Woman stuff uh, for a couple of days now, I'm getting ready for the uh, Wonder Woman movie that's coming out uh, in June, which is my birthday month. And I was on BarnesNobles.com, check to see if I can reserve. I do like a lot of you know reserving and stuff. I of graphic novels and I'll go on like CD Universe to buy my graphic novels as well. Found this and they had it in stock at the Barnes Noble store in town and just picked this up today. This is by far the greatest run on Wonder Woman. Uh, the George Perez volume one. Of course they do have uh, his run in two, bo in two omnibuses and uh, the second omnibus comes out, I think, uh, sometime this month. Uh, I've never owned an omnibus, but uh, I, I don't really want to, I don't know if I want to say I don't want to spend much on an omnibus, but uh, I just think this is a better way of going with it. It's something that's a little bit more affordable for me, and uh, I, I just love it. The art is just awesome in it. I haven't read it yet, but definitely... Definitely good stuff. I mean, everybody, if you guys have seen the uh, Omnibus for the George Perez run and Wonder Woman, all the stuff is the same exact thing that's inside that Omnibus. Nothing new unless you had some like extra artwork and stuff. But, you know, I mean, what started it for me with Wonder Woman was Linda Carter's uh, uh, time as Wonder Woman on the uh, TV show. Only ran, I believe, like was like three seasons. And then now we got Gal Gadot, and when that, when we first saw Gal Gadot as Wonder Woman in full costume in BBS, uh, everybody was pretty much, everybody clapped. I mean, never heard a response like that before. I mean, I was caught up in it too, I was clapping. Because it's about time the uh, first female superhero to get her own solo movie. And I guess uh, Screen Junkies, I was looking at their uh, review uh, when I got home from uh, my first job this morning uh, the reviews are excellent it's exactly what DCEU needs and uh, Patty Jenkins has uh, pretty much done a good job I have yet to see the film I'm hyped up I got my uh, Wonder Woman 75th anniversary t-shirt which has most of the different variations of Wonder Woman on it I'm gonna wear it to the uh, to the show when I go see it and I'm just gonna have a blast and this is just amazing and the second volume to this comes out I believe it's June 13th I will be picking that one up and as you can see my fingers are pointing at it this is probably far I from what I've heard and just looking through the pages and seeing the art is just amazing the best run I do got the John Byrne volume one run uh, pre-ordered it was supposed to come out May 30th but they upped it to June 6th so definitely I cannot wait for that one that's like the, I think it's the uh, 90s run this is the 80s run with George Perez but thank you guys for so much for watching and uh, this is a real joy to have in my collection as you can see my collection is kinda growing I got still the Marvel stuff and there's the DC stuff right there starting with the uh, Batgirl and any of one room with uh, Greg Rucka. So, yeah, definitely uh, something, you know, one shelf almost done. I got a couple more shelves I got left to go, but yeah, definitely this is uh, a real, real plus to have in the collection. So, there we go, guys, and thank you guys for watching. Batgirl684 out of here. Bye bye.